In the grand halls of history, it is often the loudest voices that echo the longest. But in the quiet corners of classrooms, workshops, and dusty backyards across the Philippines, there have lived inventors whose brilliance changed the world without fanfare, without fortune, and too often without recognition. This is their story. It begins with Dr. Gregorio Zara, a man who once stood in front of a wooden box filled with wires and tubes and made it speak across distance. It was 1955, and long before Zoom calls or FaceTime, Dr. Zara invented the video phone, a device capable of transmitting video and voice simultaneously. While the world would later marvel at similar technology, few would ever know that a Filipino scientist did it first. Then there was Pedro Flores, a name that may not ring bells, but his invention certainly spun them. In the 1920s, he took a traditional toy from the Ilocos region and introduced it to the U.S. as a commercial marvel, the yo-yo. What started as a humble pastime became a global craze, and Flores became one of the first Filipinos to own a successful toy company in America. In a province tucked between rice fields and riverbanks, Daniel Dingle claimed to have created a car that ran on water. In the 1960s, long before climate change became global news, Dingle demonstrated a vehicle powered by hydrogen extracted from ordinary water, while skeptics questioned his findings, and the global oil industry turned a blind eye. Some believe he was decades ahead of his time, and paid the price for it. In more recent decades, Diosdado Banatao, born in a small barrio in Cagayan Valley, walked barefoot to school. Years later, he would help design the first single-chip graphical user interface accelerator, a technology that helped shape the personal computer. His work would eventually be found in every modern PC, though his name rarely appeared in textbooks. And in the hospitals of today, lives are saved daily, thanks to Faye Del Mundo, a woman who defied the odds. In an era when women were discouraged from studying science, she became the first female admitted to Harvard Medical School, and later designed a low-cost bamboo incubator Simple, brilliant, and perfect for rural hospitals that had no electricity. These inventors, and so many others like them, are part of a forgotten chapter in global innovation, a chapter written in the margins of history books. They didn't seek fame. They sought solutions. Their work lives quietly in the gears of your gadgets, the hospitals that save lives, the toys in a child's hand, and the technology in your pocket. And so, the next time you make a video call, or see a spinning yo-yo, or power up your computer, Remember, somewhere in that spark of invention is a Filipino mind that dared to dream, often uncelebrated, but never unimportant.